So first of all, log into your UK Reg account or your FastHost account. Click Hosting and click Email Hosting. If you haven't already set up hosting on your domain, you need to use the Add Hosting package. It's completely free. I don't know if they're going to start charging in the future, but at the moment it's completely free. So we'll click then the email on our domain and set up a forwarder. So in this case, I'm going to add a forwarder for info at ian-b.com. I'll just put it here that's the info address and then forward to. zymotic at gmail.com that's my personal gmail address so I want this info address to come to zymotic at uh, gmail.com and what's nice that in the future if you are using UK Reg you can upgrade to an Outlook account hosted or, any, or move it to anybody else and then you don't have to worry about your gmail account right now we log into our gmail account so here I am in zymotic at gmail.com and I want to set up for this email address to come in here and be able to reply to it when I do a compose message. You can see I've got a list here of the email addresses that are authorised to send from this account. So to do that I click settings, top right corner in Gmail, click the settings option there, then I go to accounts and import and you can see here send mail as. So I've already set up a list of these addresses and I'm going to add another address that I own. So now Google asks me what's the name of that person, what's the email address, it's info at ian-b.com and it says treat, treat as an alias, now this means that when it comes from that address Google recognises it as what Google says me, that's you, me, you, same thing so any time you send an email to info at ian-b it will take it as me just like your proper Gmail address. So when sending the outgoing email, how do we do it? Well, we want to send it through Gmail. Now, although this is easier, it does have a little caveat in that when you send from Google Gmail, it will come through, but the address will be a reply to info at ian-b.com rather than actual from info at ian-b.com. It's, it's only a small difference, but if you want that uh, extra little bit, then you need to set up an SMTP server. So we're going to send a verification email. Google sends an email to info at gmail.com, at ian-b.com, apologies, so that it can authorise that you definitely have access to that email account. So what we're going to do is just going to close this box, because the email should come through now to our inbox. There it is, Gmail team sent us this authorization code. We can cut and copy that or just simpler click the link. And there we go. Gmail using the mouse now send email as info at ian bcom Now if we go to compose, we'll click the list down. We haven't got it there yet, but if I do a little refresh, do a compose. And there we go, info at ian-b.com. And that will appear to all your clients looking nice and professional.